Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to show you um, a pen that is quite hard to find. Uh, I would say it is a rare pen. Um, first of all, I'm showing you this, this pouch, which is the Caveco Echo uh, pouch. It is a leather pouch made for a single uh, Caveco Sport pen. There, are, there is also this kind of pouches for more than one or even for the other sizes as Lilliput and so on. But this is a, a very nice pen, to, a very nice pouch to protect one single pen. The pen we are talking about today is this one, which is the Caveco AL Sport Red. This pen was a special edition made for uh, distribution only in Spain and even in Portugal because the, the distributor was the same. It was Zix Ideas, uh, which is the name of the of the, the distributor. And um, let's see this pen. This this is a a regular. It's like uh, all the all the other AL Sport Caveco um, AL Sport pen, but um, it has some different features. First of all, this has a very um, smooth finish uh, on this pen. It has the typical. Uh, Caveco medallion with the logo on the top of the cap, on the bottom of the barrel nothing. It has the inscription Caveco AL Sport Germany, as other Caveco usually have. For example, let me take the blue one. Uh, it also says Caveco AL Sport Germany. It's the, the same imprint here on the, on the cap has um, every other Caveco Sport, it has this octagonal shaped um, cap and the barrel is, is, is round. The cap is pretty big, you take off the cap by unscrewing, which is nice, and it is easy to put on the, to post on the barrel and it makes a nice sized pen, it stays there very strongly. Uh, it is nice. Uh, the nib is a steel nib. This is a fine nib. The the nib on the Caveco L Sport has the, the the advantage that it's a screw fit nib and feed unit. You can unscrew it and uh, change it for any other nib you have from Caveco or some compatible uh, Bok nib. Um, what else? The section unscrews and you fill it as all the other one with a converter. The, it, they have to be the proprietary uh, Caveco converters because they are small enough, or the the Cave or the short international cartridges. This is the squeeze fill converter. There is another which is a piston filled converter. It's strange because as soon as we put ink inside uh, this, uh, this bladder, this rubber bladder um, or silicone bladder, I don't know, uh, almost, uh, almost immediately changed from transparent to this milky white colored. Strange, maybe, maybe that's a reaction to the ink. This pen has a glossy finish, as I said, uh, maybe a satin finish, and uh, this is why it's easy to uh, tell apart from the, um, the most uh, modern uh, Caveco AL Sport Red, which is this one, that is the 2017 uh, 
limited edition for China. They have a few differences. Uh, first of all, this has a kind of a matte finish. This has a glossy finish, as you can see, for, because of the ref reflection of the light. This has golden trim, silver trim, as you can see on the nib. This nib is gold plated, this one is uh, simple steel nib. Also, there is a difference be between these two pens. The older one has the, um, the section uh, threads are much uh, smaller than the section threads on the, on the modern one. Th these are just a few uh, differences. This one is from 2017 and this one is from we are not completely sure, but almost sure it was from 2011. Um, it was a very limited edition, uh, somehow also considered to be just um, some kind of uh, a prototype release. But here we have it. Uh, it is hard to find. Um, in the beginning of 2017, we could still find some at some Spanish online stores. Now they are all gone. The distributor has no more of these, just as a ballpoint. Th those are still on stock. And maybe if you go to Spain and you go through some small, smaller uh, stationery shops that don't have uh, an online store, maybe you can find this pen uh, as um, a leftover stock. But it's really, really hard to find. And there was a lot of demand in the past few months. Uh, however, I think because the, the, the Chinese limited version was released, maybe people will start looking at that one also. Uh, just one thing that I forgot to mention. In this pen, we have this, um, the imprint is in white over the, the surface of the, of the pen. Just let me put, try to focus closer, just to show you. This one has the, the, the this is imprint, this is an imprint on, on the surface. And on the Chinese limited edition, you have the same wording here, Kavec Wales Port, Germany, but this is not in print. This has no color, this is white, this has no color at all, and it is engraved on the cap. So it's quite different from all the others we have seen. As all the other Caveco sports, and if you want to see our opinion about those, you, maybe you could check the, our older videos. This pen um, is a really nice pocket pen. You can take it around anywhere. It's easy to, to, to take, it writes well, it's easy to post, it gets at a, uh, a decent size. But because this is a rare version, maybe you just um, are not willing to to scratch this pen. Um, so just let's see how it writes. So the the pen is the Caveco. AL Sport Red from Spain. Uh, the nib is made. Sorry, it skipped here, but it was me. I'm not in the right angle because I'm looking through the camera. Um, it's a steel F nib and the ink is the Mont Blanc a red velvet from the Shakespeare
here limited edition nice red ink um, about this pen it writes really 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 well it's a very smooth nib as we usually see uh, with Cavecos um, about line variation you can force it but there is not much you can have this overall this is a very nice color um, it writes very well not very wet but Caveco nibs are not at least the extra fine and fine nibs are not uh, very wet nibs but they write pretty pretty well so we recommend them um, this is a, a very nice pen a very nice uh, uh, edition we suggested Caveco to make uh, maybe a special edition of these uh, with the stone washed version like this this is the blue one and we think that this at, with the red uh, stone washed would be great we'll see if Caveco uh, will do what we propose them to do so I hope you liked this uh, simple review of a pen we have reviewed a lot of times with different um, variations i hope you liked it i hope you found it useful uh, if you liked it please uh, subscribe our youtube channel it will it is very important to, to us to, to raise our um, our video uh, visualizations um, and keep following us at our uh, at our blog and see you soon bye